time for dreams when everyone's just trying to get by. We're here to officially announce that WFG is bringing dreams back. And we're not doing it for just the ultra wealthy like others are. We're doing it for everybody. Every age, every background, every gender, every experience level. Whoever you are, we're here to help you. And help starts with a financial education. When people know how money really works, they can reduce debt and enjoy the confidence that comes from knowing their families are protected financially. They can discover the excitement that comes from a solid strategy to save for the future and the hope that one day they might become financially independent. But we don't stop there. We open the door to anyone to become a business owner and be part of our mission to help others. We don't want anyone to shrink the size of their dreams to fit the size of their opportunity. That's why there's no limit to how many people can reach our top promotion levels. And that's why we don't put any limits on how much you can earn with us. Success is not reserved for a few. It's offered to anyone willing to learn, work hard, and grow. We believe anyone with the right support can transition from where they are today as someone's employee to where they could be tomorrow as an entrepreneur who owns their future. If you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to help build theirs. When you know how to protect your family financially, when you take control of your money, when you're enabled to succeed, an amazing thing happens. Dreams are all you want to talk about. If you still have dreams, start here. Amazing. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are watching me live from. Oh my God, so many of you are on here tonight. This is incredible. Let me just pull up my screen here and we can get it started. Awesome. Can you guys see my screen? If you can, um, some of you who have a chance you can just put your put a hands up or just wave and um, if you can see my screen so hey y'all awesome 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 thank you samantha sharon usha nikki jill woo -woo, david korea eat it um judith lisa nikki robert rosia oh my god so many of you are on tonight guys thank you so much for joining some of you may or may not know i also know that i'm streaming live on social media because we got to make sure that everybody has this information so my name is odetta king i am a professor i am a author and i am a proud financial educator campaigner so about three years ago um, at the university that I teach, one of my, um, actually, I didn't even know this person. I guess we went to school, you know, at different time. And this particular gentleman by the name of Angel, who is truly my angel, and um, every semester at my university, we bring students back who have graduated from the program. And so they come back and they talk about their experience, how has college or university prepared them for the real world? Well, guess what? Right. About three years ago, this particular guy that I, you know, did not know at the time, and he was one of the students that graduated from the program. And so he came back to the university and he gave a talk about, you know, what it's like being in the real world and working and how the university has prepared him for this task. Well, guess what? After doing his presentation with a couple of other um and uh, people who had graduated from the program, him and I, we started chatting. And he asked me, well, you know, Professor King, what do you do after, you know, besides teaching, what else do you do? And I said, well, you know, I talk a lot about saving money, stacking my coins. You know, I'm always on social media, giving people tips about saving. And he said, holy moly, you know what? I would like to invite you to a workshop that's happening at Mercy College. And so, he gave me a copy of this book, right? If you do not have this book, get for the person who invited you and get a copy of this book. He gave me a copy of this book. 
It's called saving your future. Listen, I'm all about money. I'm all about saving money. I love saving my money. So when I saw the title, saving your future, I'm like, yeah, I got to read this stuff. So it's only 86 page, not a long book. I ravished the book in one night. And I could not wait to go to this financial seminar at Mercy College. Mind you me, I'm a Brooklyn girl, okay? So Brooklyn don't really go to the Bronx, and the Bronx don't really come to Brooklyn, but Mercy College is in the Bronx. And I said, you know what? Just because it's financials, and it's saving, and it's money, I'm going to hop on the train, and I'm going to go to the Bronx at Mercy College. Got there. Holy moly, I was so ignorant to the fact that I did not know so many things about money, even though I had saved up about 100000 which I talk about in my book, because I'm also an author, right? I talk about in my book, if you ain't stacking, you're dropping. And I had saved up about 100000 right? And I thought I was doing well. I had a six-figure paying job. You know, I had the 401k, and I had everything that I was told you need to have. Go to school get a degree, get a good job, work your way up corporate ladder, save some money, and you're going to be okay. Well, guess what? That's not the whole story. They did not tell us the whole story. And they certainly did not prepare me for financial education. Even someone who graduated from NYU, New York University, which is one of the top, top, top leading Ivy League school in New York and in the world, they did not prepare me. Or in fact, I never even took a personal financial class, right? And I thought, you know, it's normal, right? It's, it's okay. But it's not okay, guys. It's not okay. And so when I went to that col but at, uh, Mercy College and I attended that workshop, I was like, you mean to tell me I thought I was doing good? And now that I know this extra information, I'm okay, but I could be doing better. So I signed up immediately, right? I signed up to learn about money. I signed up to learn about education, financial education. And I said, worst case scenario, I'm going to know more or know better so I can teach this to my faculty, so I can teach this to some of my students, right? So... Hindsight, fast forward now three years into the business. Yes, I did not sign up to be in business. I signed up to learn about money. I signed up to save my money. But you know what? I realized that even someone of my caliber, someone who is a professor, someone who is making good money, someone who is saving, love saving money. I love to see my coin stack. I hate seeing it drop, right? And this is why I talk about it in my book. So I was like, if I don't know so if I don't know this information, I bet you there's a lot of other people who do not know it. So I decided I'm going to attend the workshops, I'm going to learn about money, I'm going to fix my own stuff, I'm going to invest my own money because yes I was doing the 401k and yes I was doing the 403b and yes I was doing the IRA and I was doing it all. Right? I was investing my money because that's what they told me to do. Hey, oh daddy, you got a good job, sign up for this thing, you're going to be okay. Well, I was not okay. Because every time the stock market dropped and every time I lost money, I was one of those people who would call my financial advisor and say, what the hell is going on? Why am I losing money? I don't want to lose $5. I don't want to lose $500. I don't want to lose nothing. In fact, when I go to the casino, I don't even gamble. I go to the casino just to walk around, enjoy the scenery and have some meal. I say all of this to say, guys. We are a failing nation when it comes to personal finance. No one is teaching us this information. But you know what? Thanks to this amazing company called World Financial Group. World Financial Group is building a new industry. World Financial Group is teaching us, people like you and I, right, who probably don't have 250K sitting anywhere to invest right? Or even a hundred K to invest or 50 K to invest, right? They are building a new industry in the financial industry. So guess what? People like you and I have access to this information. People like you and I can learn about money concept. People like you and I can save our money smart. We can invest our money smart and we know what to do with our money because we're going to be financially educated. Because I tell you what, 
Wall Street, they're only looking after the rich and famous. Wall Street is only looking after the guy who has 100K and up or 250K and up to invest. But what about the guy like my mom and my dad who only has $1,000? What about them, right? This is where World Financial Group comes in. Because you know what? We are on a mission for financial education. And you know what we've come to learn? It's ironic that we live in one of the wealthiest country in the world, but yet still so many of us have money problems. So many of us have money problems, guys, right? There's two types of families. And when you find out about these two types of families, ask yourself, which side are you on? Which side of the fence are you on when it comes to your family? Family A, that's 95% of us. 95% of middle America. We have a retirement crisis. We do not know how to properly save for our retirement. We have an education crisis. I see this every day in the classroom. My students are coming in year one with debt. In fact, they're coming in with debt because they're having to borrow a 100% student loan to get an education. On top of it, some students are deciding from the go, I'm not even going to school. I'm not even going to go to college because I don't have money. My parents don't have money and I don't want to be bogged down with student loans. But it's ironic that yet still, we too have a spending crisis. We don't have much, but we're still spending. So that's family A. When we get our paycheck, right? Those of you that are on Facebook, if you want to see my presentation, you're going to have to hop on in the Zoom, okay? So family A, when they get their paycheck, this is how it's split, split up. Half of their paycheck go to live and expense. And then another half goes between taxes and debt. What are we saving, guys? We're not saving anything. What are we investing? We're not investing anything. It's going to live in expense, taxes, and debt. And we're broke. In fact, some of us are already broke before we even got paid. And so we be, live a life of debt become a way of life. But guess what? Family B. That's not where my family's from, but that sure is where I am going to be and where I'm headed and where my generations will be. Family B. That's 5% of wealthy America, guys. And you know what? Because they have financial education, when they get paid, they pay themselves first. First. Not the light bill, not the water bill, not the gas bill, not the cable bill, not the Geico car insurance. They pay themselves first. And that's one thing that I was always doing, paying myself first. I don't care, even when it was an unemployment, getting $400 a month or $400 a week, whatever that amount was back then. I would pay myself first, even if it's $20, I'm putting that money aside because I know that little money is gonna turn to big money one day. So family B, they're notorious for paying themselves first. They're gonna save, they're gonna save this money regardless, and as I like to say, because I'm Guyanese, and shout out to all my Guyanese people, we gonna eat salt and rice, or we gonna eat salt fish and rice, or for the Jamaicans, we gonna eat bull and rice, or for the Spanish people, we gonna eat beans and rice. Everybody has this in their culture. We're gonna cut back in some ways to pay ourselves first. So that's what Family B is big on. Secondly, they know where to save for their retirement. They know how much they should save and which vehicles they should save it in. And because they're big on education, they plan for their kids to go to college. They plan for their kids to have an education. Whether the kids want to do it or not, they're going to plan and have money sitting, waiting there. Guys, I've been in this country 27 years. I did everything to put myself to college. Love my parents. They did the best they can, but they never sat with me and said, Odetta, let's fill out this application for college. Let's fill out this application for NYU. Let's look at some options. And you know what? On top of it, we got an extra 10 or 20 grand to help you with it. They did not do that. And I love them. And they did the best they can. But because they did not have 
access to this information. They couldn't do it for me. But guess what? I get to do this for my kids, kids, kids. And so can you with this information. Last but not least, they believe in proper protection, guys. Proper protection. What do I mean by proper protection? Guys, if you die today, is your family protected financially? If you get sick today and cannot work, how are the bills going to get paid? And the best part, what if you live long? What if you live long? Statistics shows that people are living 20, 30 years longer in retirement, right? So what if you live long? And what about your money? Is your money protected, guys? We're in a national pandemic. On top of it, we're in a recession. On top of it, we're about to change government. There's so much uncertainty. Is your money protected? Stocks market is going to up and down. More down than up. I bet you lost money. Look at your 401k. Look at your 403b. Look at your investment. You have lost money. And I don't want to hear, well, Odetta, it's not a lot. Guess what? When you know what I know, little money adds up. We do not want to lose anything because you don't have to lose anything when you know what I know. And so most people don't plan to fail. They just fail to plan. And because you guys are on this webinar today, because you guys are watching me live on Facebook today, you're going to be access, have access to information that the 1% know, and they've been using this for generations to come. Because I promise you, nobody's going to educate you. They may sell you a product but they're not gonna educate you. They're gonna take your money and invest your money, but not teach you how to do this. But here we believe in financial education. So let's talk about how does money work? Because guess what? The money game is a serious game. And if you don't know the rules, you cannot play this game to win. Who wants to win? Win at money and win at life. You got to know the game and you got to know the rules to the game. So spending is a habit and so is saving. Guess what? How many of you have been in this country for 30 years? Or your parents have been in this country for 30 years? Or you were born here and you've been alive more than 30 years? Guess what? What if you could make small changes to your spending habit? Spending habit to making it a saving habit. Because so many of us are so used to spending, spending, spending. What about switching that up to a saving mindset? Where you know what? Every extra money you get, I'm going to save it. And as I like to say, I'm going to stack it, right? So what if you could save $10 a month? I mean, $10 a day. $10 a day is $300 a month. And knowing where, where, where to invest that money, right? Knowing where to invest that money, that's going to give you an 8%. Guys, in 30 years, you're looking at almost half a million dollars. I've been in this country 27 years. I should have had half a million dollars sitting somewhere. If you've been in this country 30 years, you should have half a million dollars sitting somewhere. But no, we don't because we don't know this information, right? And what if it's a husband and a wife or two siblings? or two people, between the two of them, saving $600 a month. You're looking at close to a million dollars a year, right? What would a million dollars a year in 30 years do for you? Guess what? It's not what you earn that counts. It's what you keep. So this is how I can confidently look in the eyes of attorneys, of doctors, of physician, and I could tell them, yes, you may make more money more than me, but if you don't know this basic financial education, you're still gonna be broke. You're gonna pay a lot of taxes and you're gonna lose it all. Financial education is what gives me the utmost confidence to speak to people like this and to help families with their finances. We got to pay ourselves first, people. I cannot stress it enough. We got to pay ourselves first. But knowing where, where to keep that money, where to park that money is even more important. Because you could park it somewhere and the stock market goes down and you lose it all. 
right? So let's talk about three rules of money. Because like I said, money is a game and you got to know the rule. To know the rule, when you know the rule, you're going to crush it. So let's talk about three rules of money. The first rule of money is one of my all-time favorite uncle, Uncle Albert Einstein. Yeah, y'all know him. Google him, the crazy guy with the crazy big poofy hair. Albert Einstein created the rule compound interest. Compound interest is a formula. Actually, it's one of the eight wonders, right? And it simply says to know how many years your money's going to take to double, take 72. Why 72? I don't know. He's the genius. I'm not the genius, right? He's the genius. Take 72 and divide it by the rate of return, which is your interest, guys. Y'all, when I learned this, I was mad I did not know this years ago. When I learned this, I was mad my parents didn't know this one formula. So let's see how it applies to your money. Because sometimes I ask people, hey, have you ever heard about the rule of 72? And they say, yeah, I heard about it. I know it. Well, knowing it and applying it to your money, right? Knowing it and applying it to your money is two different games. So... Let's talk about applying it to your money. What's the number one place that most of us put our money? I know, because I hear it every day, the bank, right? The bank, we love the bank, we trust the bank, it's safe, that's where we park our money, most of us. We all have a checking account, we all have a saving account. How much is in there, to each his own, but we all have these products. So, do you know what's the average interest rate at the bank? Yeah, we know because we're financial professionals and we make it our business to learn this stuff. It is 0% to 0.5 or if you're lucky, you might get a whole 1%, right? You might get a whole 1%. And if you got a whole 1% like me, many, many years ago, I thought I was doing excellent because I was having more than 1%. So let's go back to my favorite uncle, Albert Einstein. What did he talk about, right? Take 72 divided by the rate of return, which is the interest. So if the bank is giving you 1%, which most of you, your banks are not giving you 1%, right? Do your homework, call your bank tomorrow or go on your bank website, right? Or check your app, you're not getting 1%. But let's say for this exercise, you are getting 1%, a whole 1%. 72 divided by one is 72 years. Yeah. Did you know that if you have $10,000 in the bank today, earning 1%, your 10,000 is going to take 72 years before it doubles to 20,000. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this stuff is powerful. One of my very, very rich client, right? $80,000 a month in her business, $2 million sitting in the bank, cash. And when I explained the rule of 72 to her, I was like, honey, you're doing great, but you were losing money because you got $2 million cash sitting in a bank earning 1%. What are you doing? The bank is raping you. The bank is robbing you because your two million is going to take 72 years before it doubles to four million. You're going to be long gone and dead and buried in dust, ashes and dusts, right? So let's say 4% maybe. 4% is 18 years. So let's say you're investing your money at a 4%. 72 divided by four is 18 years. So you invested $10,000 and you're thinking, good, I'm in the market. I'm doing good. I'm investing my money. Woo -woo! No, honey, let me educate you. 72 divided by four is 18 years. So your $10,000 is going to take 18 years before it doubles to 20,000. And another 18 years before it doubles to 40,000. So in 36 years, all you're going to have is 40,000. You are grossly losing the money game because nobody can retire on $40,000. I don't even care if you're living in the boondocks of America. 
you cannot retire on 40,000. You cannot, right? So now let's go all the way to the far right. Let's say this person has been a member of our organization. They're financially savvy. They learned this concept and they decide, you know what? Because I'm financially educated, because I'm friends with OdettaKing.com and she put me on this information and with her license, she has access to show me where to save and invest my money. She gets 12%. 72 divided by 12 percent is six years so now this individual her ten thousand is going to double every six years so let's fast forward to 36 years now my friend that i educated is going to have a whopping six hundred and forty thousand, more than half a million in 36 years Guys, when I tell y'all I am mad, I am so freaking mad because I've been living in this country for 27 years. And if I knew this information from day one, when I came from Guyana, I could have had this kind of money right now, but I don't, but it's okay. Cause now I know this information. I'm going gangster. I'm going bouncers. And so can you, right? So this is one of the wonders of Albert Einstein compound interest. And now he who knows this information is going to help you. But if you do not know it, it's going to hurt you. And now let me show you how it's going to hurt you. Compound interest works both ways when you're saving and investing and also when you're borrowing money loan. So let's say your credit card is 12% and you and I both know credit card companies are not given 12%. We're looking at 18, 19, store cards are the worst. Store cards are in their 20s, right? But let's just say for this example, 12%. You have your credit card, a student loan, a car loan, any loan at 12%, 72 divided by 12 is six years. My friend, y'all want to pay this off before it doubles because in six years, it's going to double. So let's say you borrow money at 12%. You only borrowed 10,000 and you don't know this rule. Six years, it doubles to 20,000. Another six years, it doubles to 40,000. And all the way, if you think you're just gonna pay whatever, whenever, how much ever, whatever, oh, it's gonna cost you a lot of coins. Because in 36 years, even though you borrow 10,000 from the credit card company at 12% and you were not educated about this concept, you could owe them upwards 640,000. Now, prior to me coming on board and doing this business, I could not understand how people are staying in debt for years and the debt is just mounting on them. But once I learned this concept, I quickly realized how someone if they don't know if they do not know this, they could be buried in debt and die and leave and pass on debt to the next generation. So guys, this formula is so crucial to your finance. If you're borrowing money, please take 72 and divide it by the rate of return and pay your debt off before it doubles. And I know it sounds easier than said, but this is why we got to earn more money. It's not enough to be living mediocre. It's not enough to just have enough. We got to have an abundance mindset. We got to have more coins. We got to have more money because when we have more, we could double down on this debt and knock it off, right? So that's the first rule. Let's talk about the second rule of money, which is another one of my all time favorite uncle, Franklin, Franklin Benjamin. Now I know, Every family member has an uncle or an auntie that you know what? They got their life together, right? And we don't like them. They got their life together and we don't like that. Well, Uncle Franklin Benjamin is one of those. He is a tax guy, right? So he said, Odetta, two things are going to happen. We're going to die and we're going to have to pay tax. So let's talk about it. Because we know we're all going to die someday. And like I always say, if you follow me on social media, I'm going to die rich. I'm going to die rich. And my great, 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 great grandkids is going to be rich because of this opportunity. So if we know we're going to die, let's do the right things and put things in place. 
But also, if we know we have to pay taxes, we cannot avoid taxes. They talk about taxes even in the Bible. We have to pay taxes. So let's learn how we can pay legally minimal taxes. Tax now accounts. What are those? Your checking account, savings, CD, stocks, mutual fund. When you and I have these accounts, as you can see the triangle, <coughs> it just keeps getting bigger. The more money we make, the more tax we pay. Plain and simple. The more money you make, the more taxes you pay. If your money is sitting in one of these accounts. So when my friends are telling me, oh, that I'm doing well. My investment portfolio is up. My mutual funds is up. And I'm like, yeah, great. But let me show you something. Let me teach you something. Let me educate you on the taxes now, right? They don't know that part because the investment guy is not going to teach him about this. Now, for the folks that have their jobs, right? If you have a 401k, a 403b, an IRA, SEP IRA, annuity and pension. How do these work? These are all job sponsored, right? So when we get paid, this is one thing HR never told me and I know HR never told you too. Because quite frankly, it's not HR job to financially educate us. HR job is just to say, hey, Odetta or Sharon, right? Our company's offering a 401k. You can sign up for it and save your money for your retirement, right? That's what they're going to tell all of us. They're not going to tell us the pros and cons. And quite frankly, they do not have to educate us because that is not their problem. That is not their business. That is not their job. Their job is just to roll out the employee and promotion or the employee offerings and let this let the employees know this is what we're offering so you guys can sign up for it and so i did so let's talk about how these accounts work because most people don't they really don't and this is where our company is really 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 big and why we're really 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 big on financial education financially educating the public when you have a 401k or 403b, an IRA, SEP IRA, and you were your pension, you did not pay tax on the money, right? And so you have to pay it later. And because Uncle Sam is who he is, right? He's not educating us. And he's, he's trying to get us to go into these type of accounts because later is going to be greater. What is going to be greater? The taxes. Because let me ask you guys a question. In 30 or 40 years, when you're ready to retire, do you think taxes will go up or will it go down? Yeah, it's going to go up. In fact, if Joe Biden wins on Wednesday, woo -woo, right? If he wins on Wednesday, it is going to go up, right? So we're not talking politics here. I'm talking taxes. Taxes will increase. It has to go up. The same way cost of living go up, taxes has to go up. So if we know that it's going to go up, your money that's grown in your 401k, your 403b, your IRA, or whatever you have in this bracket, you're going to pay the most taxes, guys. I don't think people realize it. We're going to pay upwards of 50% and more in taxes. And the sad part is we can't do anything about it. Once we get to that age, 65, 67, or whatever age we want to touch that money, we cannot do anything about it, but just pay whatever the taxes. And that's when people realize, OMG, I had no idea. I wish I knew this 30 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. These accounts, we're going to pay the most taxes. That's just how they're designed, right? We can't get around it. But what we can do is educate you on where to put your money to minimize your taxes legally so you and I keep more money in our pocket and we give less to Uncle Sam. And where is that? Tax Advantage account. I'm sure you guys have heard about some of these accounts. A Roth IRA, very, very popular, right? I'm sure you've heard about 529 college savings, also popular, but Please, if you have one of these accounts, please, 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 if you have a 529 college saving account, immediately get in touch with the person who invited you. That's all I'm going to say, because it's going to come back and haunt you.
right? Executive bonus for business owners, long-term care benefit, which everybody needs, but they have no idea because they're clueless. They're not financially educated. They don't know what long-term care is, right? Or they think it's for old people, right? My brother's 37 years old, guys. He is not old. He's a double amputee. If he had long-term care, we would have been getting a check for him every month on top of whatever disability or social security or whatever the government has given us. But we didn't know this information. We did not, right? And then cash value life insurance. How important is this? Listen, three years ago, if you had told me, oh, Dada, you need some life insurance, being me and knowing the little that I knew about finance, I would have said, hell to the no. I got my burial money, plus I'm single, I'm young, I ain't got no kids. Well, hello, rich people and financially educated people, we don't buy life insurance for burial. If you thought, oh, I'm going to buy a policy for burial, that's because you don't know what you don't know. And what you don't know, it's going to cost you, right? Life insurance is one of the easiest way to increase your net worth and build wealth. Increase your net worth and build wealth. Increase your net worth and build wealth. But why isn't anyone talking about it? Same reason why the rich is getting richer and we're getting poor. Financial education. So that's your second rule. And now let's talk about a third rule of money, guys. Understanding investment. Most people want to invest, but they have no idea how to invest. They don't know what to do to make money in their investment, and they sure don't know what to do um, when they lose money when it comes to their investment. Because let's be frank, if you want to invest some money, you find someone who you know does it, and they take your money and they go invest it, but they're not going to educate you. They're not going to teach you what to look for, what to do, what not to do. They're the one doing it for you. On top of it, whether you make money or lose money, they're going to get paid. But here at World Financial Group, we teach you about investment. So let's talk about investment options. There's three types of investment. You could invest your money in a fixed account. And what I mean by fixed is typically bank products are fixed. Your interest is fixed. Guys, and if you did not notice, nobody should like the word fix when it comes to limiting your money from growing. So if you have your money in a fixed account, it means your money is safe, but it's really not going to grow a lot because it is fixed. So you're getting, let's say the bank is giving you 1%. It's a steady Eddie 1%, right? Another one of my uncles, steady Eddie. He's okay. He's not one of the bad ones. He's kind of okay, but he's still not doing the best for us. So Steady Eddie is the fixed guy and he's going to make sure your money is safe, but it's really not going to grow a lot. And so we're not going to build wealth and we're still going to be broke, right? We don't want to be broke. We want to be fabulously stinking, filthy rich and pass down all this wealth to our great, 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 great grandkids. As you guys can see, I'm very big on generational wealth and I don't even have a puppy. And speaking of a puppy, um, how many of you have um, heard um, the guy from Wakanda, right? Um, the Wakanda guy from, um, what's the name of that movie, who passed away, you know, God bless his soul, and passed away with no will. No will. So there's no wealth going on. There's no generational wealth passing down. Unfortunately, now his wife is in court, probate code, to try to get something. Guys, even at a high level, like people as celebrities still don't know this information and they have a lot of money, right? And then you have variable investment. What a variable investment? Guys, just Google. Google the word variable. Variable means unreliable, unstable, unpredictable. Why are we putting our money in an unreliable, unstable, unpredictable account? to invest our money. Well, I tell you why, because we're not financially educated, because we do not know better and because everybody is doing it. And because everybody is doing it, we think it's the right way. That's why the 5% is running the world. They're not doing what everybody is doing, right? So when you put your money in a variable accounts, 
you're invested in the market. The market go up, great. We love when the market go up. Stock market go up, your money go up. But who's talking about when the stock market go down? What happens when the stock market go down? All your gains, you've just lost. 2020 is a bloodbath. At the end of 2020, look at your statements. You're in a negative. But our clients and myself, because I'm also a client of these products, I'm not losing any sleep and I'm not losing any coins either because I have my money in accounts that guarantees zero loss when the stock market go down. In fact, I'm still making money when the stock market go down. And where is that? Index account. Index account is a hybrid of fix and variable. So they took the safety from fixed account and they took the growth from variable. And so they merged and created something called the index account. Now with index, you have safety, your money is safe. You can never lose money. I love it. And why more people don't know about these things? Lack of financial education, pure, simple, right? And your money's also growing with the market. So the stock market go up, your money go up. But what happens when the stock market go down? You never lose a penny. Number one rule to money when it comes to investing is never lose money. Don't ask me. Ask my other rich uncle, Warren Buffett. If you Google Warren Buffett, when it comes to investment, his number one rule to invest is never lose money. And what's the number two rule? Remember rule number one, never lose money. But how are we knowing what to do to never lose money? This is where our organization is on a national campaign for financial literacy to educate you and also show you these strategies where you can invest your money and never lose money. You can sleep like a baby and don't care who's the president or what coronavirus or what other virus came on board or what president got elected or what the stock market is doing. You are never losing money. Who wants to never lose money? Who wants to never, ever lose money? And I hear it every day. I hear people say, well, Odetta, you know, yes, I lost, but I didn't lose a lot. And, you know, the market is going to rebound. Well, guess what? Yeah, the market will rebound at some point, but you could have had more if you didn't lose any money. And that's what we're educating people. You do not have to lose, right? So that's the third rule of money, investment. Because you got to invest, but where and how much, right? And so... Our company, we're big on financial education, very, very big on financial education. We teach these concepts every day because you know what? We realize that there's four cornerstones. You got to have these four cornerstones. I cannot stress it. You got to have these four cornerstones when it comes to your personal finance. Your money has to grow, but it also has to be safe. No sense growing it if you're going to lose it when the stock market drop, right? Or no sense having it safe if it's not growing because you're still going to end up being broke and poor and living paycheck to paycheck in retirement. You got to have both growth and safety. But what about tax-free? Uh-huh. They didn't teach you about tax-free. You got to have tax-free strategies because tax-free strategies means you're keeping more money in your pocket and giving less to Uncle Sam legally. And guys, even tax preparers don't even know this. So when people said to me, oh, my tax guy is going to do it. No, your tax guy doesn't know this information. And this is why we're also talking to tax professionals. In fact, one of my business partner, Imara, is a tax professional. Been doing tax for years and didn't know this until she became part of our campaign for national financial literacy. And then you also got to make sure your money's protected. Look at all these people that have passed away in COVID. Over 200,000 people have passed away. My God, imagine if they had a half a million dollar policy or a million dollar policy. How do you think their families would be coping right now? Half a million or a million and they passed away. Guys, that's one to two years income. More than one to two years because some people don't even make a hundred thousand. So if you had a family member who was smart enough and had these strategies, had these four cornerstones and passed away in COVID and left 
kids behind, a husband, a wife, mortgage. What would that million dollar policy do for their loved ones? Serious stuff, right? And so these are the six things that we focus on. We got to increase our cash flow. Enough with a penny pinching of, oh, I'm going to cut back the cable. I'm going to buy, you know, take a bottle of water instead of buying bottled water on the street. No, we got to make more money. We got to make more money. Don't try just squeezing and pinching something here to make yourself feel good. You got to make more money, period. We got to have multiple sources of income. And I think with COVID, not I think, I know with COVID and this pandemic and the recession, it hits people so hard that now they kind of wake up. They finally wake up and said, you know what? Wow, I had a really good job. And now my job is out. My job closed down. Every day we're seeing stuff in the news, right? Airline industry, hotel industry, restaurant industry, everybody's stinking. Companies, are, companies were bellying up and still is bellying up right 2021 is not going to be any different the saga continues in 2021 our jobs are never safe they're never stable because any given moment something could change and now you're out of an income and i've been out of an income several times when i was in the the hotel career and guess what i could be one of the top sales executive and every time that hotel got sold and they have new owners we're the first one to go because we're the highest paid employees. So we're the first one to go and the new owners, they bring in their own team. So I was constantly changing job and it kind of dawned on me that, you know what? I'm just tired of being, even though I'm so qualified and I'm so talented, like every couple of years I have to be changing job. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to start teaching. I'm going to teach on the side and have another source of income. And thank God I did that because when the hotel wasn't doing well, I had my teaching job. And when attendance was low for registration, I had my hotel job to back me up. And even today in a pandemic, 90% of what's going on at my university right now, we immediately pivot to online school, online classes because registration fell. People don't want to be on campus. Registration has fell. And so people are opting to do online school. So imagine, right? You can't depend on one job, guys. You gotta have multiple source of income. But what about we also teach people how to save for their kids' college? It's so unfortunate that some people are having to make a decision by not going to college. It's not fair. Why should a student have to say, oh, well, I'm not gonna go to college because my parent can't afford it? Just because we didn't notice information? Guys, we are changing families' lives. And then what about setting up your emergency fund? How many of us had three to six months emergency? I talk about it in my book. We should have upwards of 12 months. I don't care if they only tell me, oh, only save three to six months. I'm going to save more than six months because guess what? I've been there. I've been there when I was unemployed. I've been there when I got let go from my job and it hit me that I had 12 months. 12 months saving so i could pick refuse go on interviews turn down job i had the freedom to do that if i didn't have 12 months emergency saved up i would have had to take the first job opportunity i got but because i had 12 months psh, if they call me for an interview and i read the job description and i read the pay the pay scale and i don't like it i'm not going for that interview or I even got some of those jobs and I flat out refused them because it wasn't what I wanted. But I could do that because I had emergency fund saved up to hold me over for a year where I could pick, choose, and refuse. And again, the pandemic has taught us we're now over six months, right? Proper protection, all types of life insurance. We're going to educate you. And then I have some clients who have insurance and they tell me, but Odetta, I have insurance already. And I said, great, let's look at it. Let's review your policy. Let's see if you're covered for health. Let's see if you have a cash value. Let's see if you have retirement income on your policy. And then when I sat with them and I educated them and I showed them all the different types of life insurance and what policies are best for what, 
They're like, oh my God, how come I didn't notice? Well, guess what? If you work for Citibank, you can only sell and show people what Citibank has to offer. So whoever sold you that policy, they cannot show you other types of policies. So that's why they show you what they can sell you and you bought it. But here at World Financial Group, we're gonna educate you. We're gonna educate you and show you all the different types because we have access and choices. And then what about building wealth? And speaking of life insurance, this coming Saturday, right? We do free financial workshops every Saturday. So this coming Saturday, for those of you who didn't come on, um, come on on time, I was putting up the flyer, right? We have two amazing events going on in the month of November. This first Saturday is our financial workshop on retirement. And I'm sorry, on life insurance. So make sure you get in touch with the person who invited you and register for that. It is free. And I promise you, you're going to be happy that you attended it. And what about building wealth? We got to build wealth, right? And preserving our wealth. When we die, whenever that is, let's make sure the legacy continues. And we leave this earth and make it better for our own kids, kids, kids generational wealth so here are the workshops we have workshops every saturday we have workshops every day multiple workshops these are some of the topics that we teach families when you become a member and you want to become a member because i promise you you're not going to learn this information in school i am a professor we don't teach this stuff to our students my dean doesn't even know this information we teach business finance. We prepare students to go work for a company and make money for the company. We don't teach them personal finance. We don't teach them how to increase their cash flow. We certainly don't teach them with debt management because they're all graduating with huge student loan the size of a mortgage. So these are the things you're going to learn when you become a member. Find out from the person what you need to do to become a member. Become a member. Get yourself in a winning environment where you know this information. You can make changes. Building a solid financial foundation. All types of life insurance. Building your wealth. Accumulating assets. Retirement planning. you got to retire rich. The goal is to retire rich, right? So you can do whatever you want to do in retirement. And also preserve your wealth. Everything that you're working so hard for right now. Make sure that it doesn't go by the wayside. Make sure the government or any predators doesn't take it away from your family. And these, these materials that you're seeing here, Saving Your Future, this book is proprietary to our organization. We have our own book, guys. We also have our own workbook, our own curriculum. And as you can see, I'm proudly wearing my pen for a national financial literacy campaign. So you're going to be educated on all aspects of personal finance. So why are we here? And why are we talking about this? Why are we on every day putting on these webinars? Because timing is everything. In 1946, we had 78 million baby born call baby boomers. The baby boomers, these are people born between 1946 to 1964. And history has shown us that everything the baby boomers touch, poof, golden egg. They were born, this company Gerber realized, holy moly, we got all these babies. We need to make food for them. So Gerber capitalized on it and created Gerber baby food came along they needed toys to play with everybody loved toys right so mattel came on board and created a bunch of fabulous toys for these baby boomers then as it started going out with their parents everybody loved the mcdonald's fast food french fries and the toys and the gifts they give us mcdonald's came on the scene guess what now they're off to co college they're driving ford created the car for them and as they graduated, they're done with school, they started buying real estate because they got to live somewhere. They own properties. So guess what? Timing is everything because now these baby boomers, oh my God, they're, the next phase of their life is where they're going to be passing down wealth 
2030. Get excited, guys. 2030 is the year that all baby boomers in the entire world, not just US, not just Canada, in the entire world will be turning 65. So there's estimated 68 trillion alone, just in the US, 68 trillion will be passed on from baby boomers to their generations, from mom and dad to their kids or grandkids. Guess who's gonna be in the middle of that transaction? Me. And so will you, if you're the right person. Because somebody has to do this wealth transfer. Somebody has to sit with that grandma or granddad or uncle or auntie and say, hey, what are we gonna do with this five million? What are we gonna do with this two million? What are we gonna do with your house? What are we gonna do with your business? What are we gonna do with your investment? We can't take it to the grave. Guess what? We are looking for people who are looking for us. We are looking for people who want to help these baby boomers. Sit with them. Sit with their kids and show them how to pass down the 68 trillion alone in the U.S. How to legally and make sure that it's passed down the right way to their generation. My God. What an awesome transaction to be part of. So timing is everything because the average age of a financial advisor is 55 years old. What can they teach me in today's time about finance? All the stuff that they've learned back in the days was working for back in the days. Today, everything is different. The products are different. The systems are different, right? The banking system, everything is techno technology. It is different. And so the average 55-year-old senior advisor, they're on their way out. They're not going to be doing this job anymore. And so there's going to be a shortfall of about 200,000 financial advisors needed. So yes, you guys are at the right place at the right time to capitalize on this by doing the right thing for families, helping families with their finance. And you know what I've heard? When you help people get what they want, you also get what you want. WFG is that type of business. When I help my client get what they want, I also get what I want. So this is the right place. This is the right time with the right company that's teaching people about financial education. So who are we? Since we're the right company, let me tell you about our company. Our company is called Aegon. Aegon has been around for 176 years. Google it. Aegon has been around for 176 years. Actually, it's one of the largest company in the world, okay? In the world listed as too big to fail. Is that the kind of company you want to be associated with? A company that's listed too big to fail in the world? Not just in Canada, not just in the US, not just in Puerto Rico, not just in Hawaii, but in the world. And like every major company, they want to be present in the US. And so they created a company called Transamerica. And also, the marketing arm, World Financial Group, based in Deloitte, Georgia. So let's talk about numbers because we love to brag about our company. When it comes to numbers, it don't lie. More than 50,000 of us, thanks to the pandemic, more than 50,000 of us across US, Canada, and Puerto Rico have our license and are educating families and are showing families strategies to save their money, invest their money and protect themselves. Our company has close to a hundred, a hundred entrepreneurs earning at minimum $1 million. Which company do you know have, what company have a hundred people earning $1 million? Which company? Which company? Right? 4.2 families helped since 2001. Again, these numbers are so dated. Thanks to COVID, they've all 
increase. Our home office in Georgia, we have about 259 home office employees who does all the back end support for us. And as of last year, right, our sales has increased by 7.34. And guys, we had a record breaking year last year. And COVID, the minute COVID hit in March, it catapulted our numbers from last year. So this is not a record breaking year. Unfortunately, some companies are closing doors for COVID. And unfortunately, or fortunately, some companies like ours are killing it, right? And we have access to 77 different product providers. So what does that mean? We have choices for our clients. Think of us as the Amazon for the financial service. When we sit with a client, we have choices for them. But if, again, I'm gonna go back to let's say Citibank, if you sit with someone who works for Citibank, the only choice she's gonna have is what her company offers. But when you come to us, we work with 77 different companies. So we have choices for you. Companies like Franklin Templeton Investment, companies like Transamerica, which has been around for a hundred years, right? Companies like Everest Financial Concierge, which I proudly own. They actually just got listed in Forbes magazine. Google it. They're one of the best Financial Concierge and has been named as the number one in Forbes magazine. Why? They pay out in two days. When somebody dies, in two days, you got to check. How amazing is that? No GoFundMe, no embarrassing and begging people to put up money. Two days, you got a check coming to you if you have this product. Nationwide, y'all know the jingle, they're on our side and so forth and so forth. So we have choices for our customers. Now let's talk about the entrepreneur side. Let's talk about the business platform because some of you are listening to me. You're like, well, that this sounds great. Well, two things are going to happen. You're either going to become a client, get help with your finance, save your money smart, invest your money, protect your future. Or you could be entrepreneurial minded like myself and like many others who want to make an income working from home and a good income at that. So here are the different ways that we earn income. You can earn income with your personal pen, right? That's you sitting with a client, helping a client with their finances. That's your personal income. Or you can earn income by agency income as you grow and expand your business. You do not have to be only in your territory. Like I live in New York, I'm not limited to helping people only in New York. I could have agency income. I have agencies in different parts of the country, even Canada right? So that's what we call agency income. You're not limited to only your state. Then you have expansion income. You're free to expand any part of North America. There goes Canada and US, right? You can expand. And then we have bonus income. The higher up you go as a senior marketing director, now you have bonus. And then the best part is recurring income. Guys, I know y'all are working very hard. I know some of y'all have been in your job for years and there's no such thing as recurring anything on your job. It's your paycheck and that's it. Here, every family that I've helped, every year we get recurring income. And I've been working for 18 years in corporate hotels. Imagine if it was designed to pay me out corporate income recurring. Nope, no such thing as recurring anything. But here we do have recurring income. So for me, when I learned about this company and I learned about the wonderful things it's doing, first of all, it's educating families that most people don't know this information. Absolutely, as an educator, I jumped on it. I jumped on it to learn. Even if I didn't do the business, I jumped on it to learn. Learn about saving my money. Learn about protecting myself. Learn about protecting my future. Right? And how much money can you make? When someone starts with us, they're in training. They're in tra they call themselves, we call them a training associate. Because your first 30 days, you are going to be in training. You do not come from a financial background. Most people have never had a business. 
So you got to learn. You got to learn the system. You got to learn the product. You got to learn the business. You got to learn leadership. You, this is a leadership development course, pretty much, I like to say. You're going to learn. You're going to develop yourself. Now, as an associate, you got your license. You want to get your license in the first 30 days. Now you got your license. You are positioned to make money as an associate. How much money? Sky is not even the limit. You can poke a hole in the sky. So if you help a family save $250 per month, which is $3,000 a year, 45% of that is $1,350. You mean to tell me I'm getting paid? to help people save money it's a win-win you're getting paid to help people save money not spend but save money and you're gonna get paid 1350 if you help a client save 250 and, and you know what's the sad part people are saving money but they're not saving it smart I see it every day they're not saving it smart because they don't know the rule of 72 they don't understand taxes and they don't understand investment. So you get a chance to help them. And you could go all the way up to senior marketing director like I am. Now, as a senior marketing director, the average earnings is 86,000 upward to a million. This was another eye opener. You mean to tell me I was doing corporate sales for 18 years and teaching for eight years and I could never ever make a million dollars. Meanwhile, coming here, I could make a million dollars. Like, guys, you can make a million dollars in this business. So the choice is yours. You can continue doing everything you're doing. And you know how that's going to go. Look around, right? Or you can come here and set yourself free or be on the path to setting yourself free. So these are some of our amazing leadership team. We have people from all walks of life. Jonathan Marion, who was our amazing EVC. This guy is only 30 something, making over a million dollars. Started with the company when he was 18 years old. 18 years old, never graduated, never went to college. I'm sure his peers and his parents, especially his dad, he talks about it all the time telling him get a real job you're wasting your time with this crap guess what today when you speak to jonathan dad he's going to tell you i'm glad my son did not listen to me because he retired both his parents how awesome is that for your kids to retire you powerful this is what this campaigner does we have Payam here. We have Alma. Oh my God, Alma is such an amazing individual. She's helping her entire Latino community. We have Eduardo, who was a hairstylist or still is a hairstylist, but who's doing hair right now, right? So thank God for this business because he would have been hurting with his hairdressing business, right? Then we have George and Susie. Guess what? They were news anchors on Telemundo, right? did really well but still didn't have no financial education they didn't even know what's going on with their g and with their pension then you have some of my other fe fellow colleagues here rory and andrea which we love and adore these guys came from the entertainment world where they were making millions where they were dealing with entertainers big egos and everyone is multi-millionaire but guess what they did not have financial education and today they are helping the community so all of these people are, we show them to you because they're people from different background. If you're hungry enough and you want to change your life, this is the place for you. And in fact, we left a spot here because this spot is for you. So get in touch with the person who invited you and let's see how we could get you to the next level. And we have world-class recognition. Because of COVID, we're not traveling right now, but prior to COVID, we are on a plane almost every month or at the minimum every quarter. These are some of the places I've had an opportunity to gone to and have gotten an opportunity to meet some of these people. E.T., oh my God, number one motivational speaker around the world was at our Destiny Convention, right? Then you have here John Maxwell, the father and founder of leadership. Like I would have never even heard about these people. 
let alone have access to them. Magic Johnson, I remember vividly him walking through the aisle as I was sitting at one of our convention, right? Leadership retreat in Vegas. Um, and then of course, last year convention, right? We had Damon John, who was on the big screen from Shark Tank talking to our company about what he wish he knew when he was building his business. Guys, we hear it from all of these people. They also say if they knew and had financial education, they would have been a lot better off. Even though they're good, they could have been a lot better off. So you have access to world-class recognition and association. Listen, if you hang around these people, you are bound to be the next millionaire. You are bound to be the next millionaire. So ask yourself right now, who are you hanging with? Who's your top five or your fave five? What are you listening to? What are you reading? What conversation are you having? Life is all about choices. In wrapping up, what will five to 10 years look like for you? Here are your choices. You can decide you wanna save your future, learn how money works, get a complimentary free financial analysis. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain and learn what's going on with your money. Make extra income. Become part of something big. I always knew I wanted to do something big, but I found it here. Bill Gates, one of his favorite quotes, if you're born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it sure is. Because every one of you on this webinar and listen to me live on Facebook, you are learning something that most people will never hear. And now you have an opportunity to take action. What are you going to do with this information? Number one, you want to get in touch with the person who invited you. I'm going to launch a poll, right? And this poll is going to come up on your screen. And this, there are your choices. Do you want to get a free financial assessment? Know what's going on with your money? Take a look at your 401k. Take a look at your investment. Take a look at your savings. Take a look at your debt. Have a dream map. See what's going on with your future. Get a free financial assessment. It does not hurt. Or maybe you want to explore a part-time position with us to make extra money. Guys, I am so sick being in my house, but I'd rather be in my house all day, every day. In fact, I already signed up to continue teaching online next year because every day we're getting emails from the university scaring us about things that's going on on campus with COVID. And I'm like, when I see those emails, I'm like, thank God I signed up for online class. Next year, in semester start in January, I'm going to continue to teach online class. I am not setting foot on campus. So this is an opportunity that allows you to work from home. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. Get in touch with the person who invited you. I see many of you are saying both, 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 all of the above. That's awesome. Get in touch with the person who invited you right now. Set up a time right now to speak with that person tomorrow and get it going. Do not wait because all it takes is 90 days for you to change your life. Thanksgiving is in a couple of weeks. Christmas is next month. You can add a zero to your paycheck or you can add a comma to your paycheck. Don't take it lightly. And with that being said, Thank you guys so much for joining. I know we went over some time, but I'm super passionate. I'm super fired up about our campaign for financial literacy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining. And again, do not forget this coming Friday we have, and I'm gonna pull up, let me pull up um, the workshop this coming Friday, right? We have our workshop on life insurance, right? progress of insurance and investment. If you're someone that wants to learn about investment, you want to invest your money smart, this is the time to get in touch with us because the stock market is going to continue to go down. And when the stock market go down, your money is also going to go down, right? So get in touch with the person immediately when we hang up this phone and just set up a time for tomorrow where you can go through some time and know what's going on with your money. 
And if I'm the one that invited you or you saw this on social media from one of my posts, get in touch with me immediately and let's set up a time to get you some help. Thank you guys so much. And the other fly that I'm going to also share is um, we're also going to be having another business overview, but this time catering to my people, right? Guyanese people, or in fact, West Indian people in the whole, because we know that most of us don't know this information. And so we want to help our own first, right? So November 14th, I'm going to be dropping the link on social media. It's already there, but I'm going to drop it again on the live. Um, but if you get in touch with the person who invited you, they can help you register for both of these workshops happening this coming Saturday and the next coming Saturday. Thank you guys so much for joining and we'll talk to you soon.